Fortissimus is a presentation of the municipality of Notre Dame de Rosaire. Sear is considered the strongest man in history. In his honor, welcome to the conclusion of Fortissimus 2008. I'm Steve Besner with professional screen coach Super Sam Dubé. In Fortissimus, Latin means the strongest of all. The inscription of the belt of Louis Sear. Over eight awesome events, we've seen terrible frustrations, thrilling victories, heartbreaks, bone breaks. The competition couldn't be closer. Today, we will crown the Fortissimus, the mightiest man on earth. Let us live this historic event together. The greatest event in the history of strength athletics. And let's check out the standings after eight events. We have Savickas in first place by one half point over Poundstone. They're followed by Jean, Ortmeier, Venta, Merriamet, Kokoyev, and Peterson. Felix, Katona, Savoie, Hogan, and Filiu round out the 13 places. Here, after eight events at Fortissimus 2008. This is as big as you get. You know, it's a great show, there's great competitors, and I'm very happy to be here. So you're gonna see some amazing things. A lot of guys are gonna kind of die off. None of us have really done any of these events. I think it's gonna be interesting to see, you know, who the smarter athletes are, who figures it out the fastest. There will be five, six athletes who will compete for first place. Here is Stefan Solli Peterson from Iceland. He is very fortissimus. And we'll return with event number nine, the Louis Sear Power Walk, after this. My name is Derek Poundstone, 26 years old, from Connecticut, USA. Uh, people, people expect great things out of me, but the, but the, the funny thing is, they always seem to forget me when I compete, you know. I, I'm always one of those top three competitors, um, but that's what's going to win this competition. Top three in every event, you know, so. And here we go with event number nine, the Louis Sear Power Walk. This is the same as the Farmer's Walk. Takes place in two segments. They're lifting the old style globe barbells, 325 pounds in each hand for 25 meters, followed by 350 in each hand for another 25 meters. And our first two competitors oh. are Felix and Mario. Murumets is out. Wow, before it starts. Yeah, I believe he hurt himself on the uh, the, the hip and thigh lift. Oh, I didn't have a chance to announce his name, and he was out already, but Felix is carrying on. Well done there. How much harder is it, Sam, when you don't have a competitor you're fighting against? Well, it really depends on how motivated you are, but it really helps to have someone to run against. The incredible hand and back strength of Mark Felix is serving him well here. 350 in each hand. He's moving really, really well. Now, remember, the implements have to cross the finish line simultaneously. It's a standard rule. He's still moving really well. Look at that. Oh, he's got a great pace going. Whoa, whoa, whoa. His left implement. Oh. oh. They're telling him, have to cross at the same time. He has to pick them up. He has to pick them up, they have to cross at the same time. He has to actually lift them. Oh, wow, he lost a lot of precious time there on a technicality, Sam. Whoa, watch what happens here. When he drops the implement, the left one does not cross the line completely. Take a look at this, Steve, and that's what cost him time-wise. Ah, that's really too bad. And we have Kokliev fighting in this next one. And alongside him is this worthy competitor, Peterson. Both of these men, big men, moving really well. Solvi's got a little bit of a lead. Uh, these guys are doing great. They're motivating each other. Stefan Solvi completed first. Looks like they're pacing themselves before they pick up the 700 pounds to continue the second half of the course. Okay, let's see what happens here. Should be quite a battle to the finish, then. Once again, some men very strong in the pickup, harder in the walk. Others the reverse. Everybody has their own strengths. Stefan Solvi moving very well here. Uh, he's moving great. Oh, they're allowed one drop. Only one drop in the second half. No drops in the first half, Steve. Okay, that's a challenging thing. Doesn't give them much room for error, Sam. So Peterson just did his only drop allowed. No more drops for him. Let's see what we can do Same here. with Misha. Misha is done. 
That's it. He did two at 36.70. And there's two at 42.27. Good effort by both these guys. There's the hug. Uh, just like you and me, Steve. Always a pleasure, Sam. And here we have Travis Ortmeyer from the U.S. And he'll be battling Louis Philippe Shaw from Canada. Prodigy versus the Cowboy. Uh, this should be a great battle. Canada against the U.S. Uh, Louis Philippe is always concerned about his grip. Let's see how it holds out here. Look at Travis Ortmeyer go. Uh, so far, both guys doing great. Wow, that. they're it's almost neck and neck. Pretty much a dead heat so far. It's a matter of who needs more recovery time to get going, but they're pretty much in line with each other. Remember, this is 700 pounds total. They're walking on dirt now. We had one drop. We had to fill in the course with dirt because it rained so badly. The water drained into the, into the field. Uh, it's looking good now. Jean has a little lead here. But it's not over till it's over, as they say. Now, what's the grip factor like, So, How important is it? It's huge, absolutely huge. If you have, don't have a good grip, you'll never hang on to the implements. Oh, there it is. He did two, 34.10. Your hands just start to uncurl. And two at 43.59. There it is. Great job by both competitors. Both of them seem quite satisfied with the performance in the event. <laughs> <laughs> and we're ready for our next battle. This should be a good one. We have Derek Poundstone. He's from the U.S. And he'll be facing Zavikas. This is uh, the top two spots, the leaders in this entire contest. Wow, this is a great, very important battle as the two top men. Uh, a win here can change everything, Sam. Absolutely. They've been going back and forth, separated by a point, half a point here and there. The contest could not be closer. Savickas was the favorite to win. Poundstone had beat Pudzanowski uh, a few months before. Both of them tremendous competitors. It can go to either one of them. Well, Poundstone's got a lead here. But let's see what happens. His last few meters, very important. Whoa, Big Z drops. There's the heavy implements. Drop. Poundstone still goes and finishes. What a great time at 34.03. Wow, tremendous effort, and he's excited. Savickas must finish, Sam. That's right, or the discrepancy will be very big between them. He's got to get these implements over the line. He's looking okay. Should be able to do it. There it is, 54.63. You saw Katona in the background with injured ribs. I saw a lot of guys having a lot of issues with the, uh, the Farmers. It's a very low pickup. I was in the same position last year with Zadrunas and the Farmers in the last event of the IFSA World Championship, so I knew I needed to do well here. So I didn't want to make any mistakes. From the start, it felt pretty good. So I kicked it in high gear with that 350, and you saw the results. Number one. And here are the results. For event number nine, it's Poundstone takes 13 points. He's followed by Felix, Savickas, Jean, Venta, Peterson, Kokliev, and Ortmeier. Jestem szczęśliwy, że przyjechałem na zawody Fortissimus i przyjechałem, żeby walczyć i wygrać o pierwsze miejsce. Fans around the world, don't go away. We've got event number 10, the final event here at Fortissimus. Mark Felix, 42 years old, and I'm from Grenada. Um, I see myself performing very good, you know. It's, the events are different. A lot of those guys not used to, used to the events just like me. So, you know, once it's lifting heavy stuff, I'm looking forward to it. It's going to be great. And Mark Felix will probably do very well in this event, number 10, the Circle of Stones. There's two rounds to this. The first with Atlas Stones, the second with Natural Stones. And here we go. And we have Mark Felix up first. First round, five Atlas Stones, ranging from 250 pounds to 350 in 25 pound increments. Take a look at the platforms. Wow. They, they get heavier and heavier, right, Sam? Well, the platforms aren't heavy. It's actually their height that changes. <laughs> I believe they're starting at 72 inches and dropping by four inches for each platform. Look there at that. Go. He's already on, what is He's that, doing the four great. They have to control the rocks. The rocks have to stay on the top of the barrels. 350, done. Beautiful time. He's got time. five stones up at 27 and a half seconds. Excellent time for Mark Felix. Mark, that was a fantastic performance. You're now first in the stones, and you even gave an impromptu pose down. 
Oh yeah, definitely. Um, I love stone. It's one of my favorite events, you know. But something I hit and miss with the stone, but this time I think I hit. <laughs> I think you hit very hard. Do you have another message for the rest of the guys here? Well, I cannot underestimate any one of those guys. Every guy here, they're very good with stone. So let's wait and see. He's very respectful of his other competitors. And let's see how Dominique Filiu does. Yeah, Felix seemed to have recovered from his farmer's walk, a uh, little gaff there. But here's uh, Dominic Filiu. He's uh, very good at the stones. Second stone up nicely. Here right. comes a 300. He's moving well. He's got three up there pretty easily, Sam. Dominic, about 6'6", 350 pounds. Oh, oh, he's got to lift it another couple of inches there. So close. Oh, he's got it up there. Good job. Here One comes more. 350. Taking his time. It's been a very difficult contest for him. This is a tough one for him, but he's doing it. He's, he's close. There it is. Let's check the time. 36.7 seconds for all five stones. Last winter, I hurt myself, and I was pretty sure my career was over. What I did was I undertook a diet to try and get myself into shape, be more like a bodybuilder. I lost nearly 90 pounds. The end result, unfortunately, was despite losing all that weight, I actually lost a significant amount of strength. It uh, remains for me to decide whether I'm going to stay in the sport of strength athletics or move on to something else. Oh, let's see how our next competitor does. Hulk Hogan. Oh, from Norway. Whoa, having a little trouble with that first stone. A little blip there, but he got it up. Now remember, the stones have to stay on the platform. Wow, he can't stop the stone, it's like still moving. Gonna... His corner man stopping the third stone from going over. Wow. I believe he put his hand on the second stone as well. The referee, Mark Lozo, is making him replace the third stone. If you look in the left, you could see his corner man, and, and the stone did not stay on the barrel. He's throwing him up there. He's got to place them a little more carefully. They're rolling off the edge. The lip is very, very short. Wow. He is uh, understandably he's upset, not pleased. but the competitors all know the rules as well. Wow. Okay. Geez, he doesn't know what to say. It's a, what can we say? He's not happy. They're giving him credit for two stones. Watch what happens here. The second stone is up. His corner man puts his hand on the second stone, preventing it from going over. Then, more blatantly, it occurs on the third stone. Well, here's Venta. Let's see what Venta can do. Venta's very good with the stones. Look at that, just like a basketball or a volleyball. He takes the extra time, Sam, to place it properly. He does. He's a former national caliber volleyball player in Poland. Threw shot in discus as well. Comes from a family of athletes. Uh, this is a great time he's putting together. If he can get this last one up. Can you imagine him spiking a volleyball at Look you? Look at that, let's check the time. 22.84 seconds for all five. That's going to be a pretty hard time to beat, Steve. Uh, he set the standard here. And here comes Savickas. If anyone can beat it, it's Savickas. He's got a shot. He's hungry for victory here. The Lithuanian giant wants to be Fortissimus, the mightiest man on the planet. He's got a good start going. He's got two up, the third one on its way. Moving right along, Sam. You see the experience here? Just like you were saying before about Venta, placing the stones onto the podiums. Look at this, he's got a good time going, having a little trouble with this one. And it's up there, 22.75 seconds, great effort there. Now, did that beat the time of Venta? Oh, he's checking it out. Derek, I'm catching you right before you're about to go on the Atlas Stones. What do you have to say? We'll see, my name's not Poundstone for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Derek's having some fun with that, but now it's all business as Poundstone tries to beat that time. Let's see if he lives up to his name. Very dynamic athlete here. A little shorter than most of the guys. There you go. It doesn't help him, the height thing, but he's moving. He's got the first two up pretty quickly. Big Z has the time to beat. 22.75 seconds to beat. It's coming close. He's at 18 now. Derek moving very well. He's like a machine, almost like a Terminator. Look at him go here. He just keeps going and going and going. Here we go. Let's check the time. 25.55. A good time, but not quite good enough. Not enough. He's currently third in the Atlas Stones. Oh, and let's check out Cochlea. 
Misha, again, extremely explosive because of his Olympic lifting prowess. Incredible athlete, as are they all. First two up easily, Sam. They're all taking care to place these stones now after Hulk Hogan's uh, mishap. Whoa, right, he, very he took a back look at that one, but it was okay. Two left, 18 seconds. We're getting up there in time. It's a 325. Zadrun is still in the lead. Go. Every second counts, so let's check it out. He's got all five up and 26.59. Even quite beat Derek. Still a great effort. To Luis Sir. Everybody. Ta 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 Unfortunately, Louis Sear was Canadian, not uh, French from France, despite being French Canadian. But great spirit here by Misha. You tell him, Sam. I will. And we have the results of round number one of event number 10. Savickas takes 13 points. He's followed by Venta, Poundstone, Cochlea, Felix, Peterson, Filio, and Savoie. Well, I went and told him, and listen to that. <laughs> He's a happy man. Wow. Don't move. Right after this, the event to end all events at Fortissimus. And we're back with round number two of the Circle of Stones. Three natural stones weigh 350, 400, and 517 pounds have to be placed on these platforms. Now, no one has lifted the replica Louis Sear stone, the 517, since the time of Louis Sear by none other than Sear himself. Uh, it's unbelievable. And Hogan is our first competitor. He's got the first one up. Now remember, this is round two of the Circle of Stones, so the points for this event are added to the points for round one and divided by two to give us a result for event number 10. Look at that. Uh, he's got two stones up. Now this stone, the 517, is very, very awkward. And nobody, like you say, Sam, has done this since the times of Louis Cyr over a century ago. This stone was cut to resemble the original stone lifted by Louis Cyr which he shouldered. He's, he, he gives in to the third stone. He does two in 25.21 seconds. No shame in that. That was incredible. He actually tilted the 517 up on his vertex. Uh, just that in itself is a feat. And here comes Peterson. Stefan Solvi, once again, one of the youngest competitors here. Uh, he's Look. given it everything he has, and he's got that first one up, Sam. Now, the natural stones have a little bit more handhold, but they're awkward because none of them, none of the men have touched the stones before. They weren't allowed to practice on them. Oh, so they've got to figure out where to hold it and what to do as on the fly. They've got to stalk the stones a little bit, not too long. Very nice techni technique by Stefan Solvi. He's squatting down, pulling it to his thighs, and his height is coming into he's play. He's got two done, and, and he's not even looking at the third stone no. time. How do you love this crowd, eh? I love Canada, I love Canada. This is great competition. I, I had a, lots of fun and I really want to come back to Canada. All right, what a competitor. And here comes Felix, let's see what he can do. His back and hand strength will serve him well here, watch this. Wow, he just picks it up like a, like a bag of groceries. That was a great job. Maybe he'll have a chance the third stumble. Let's see him do the second one first. 400 pounds, a little awkward in his grip. He's got to pull it to his thighs. He's got it up. Close. Oh, so close. He can get his hand, that's it, get his hands under it. There you go, good technique, and he does too. You got to be careful not to crush your hands and fingers here, although for these guys, it probably won't matter too much to them. Very intense here now. He's got to, he's got to write it and then grab it. This is the problem. It's, it's an awkwardly okay, shaped stone. He gives in to that. That's, he budged it, but that's about it. Two stones in 24.07 seconds. And he's satisfied. There you go. That third one is hard for him to lift at all. And here comes Savickas, and this is huge. The big moment starts right here. Savickas in a battle for first place. How close are they together? Extremely. He's got to get this in very quick time. Look at that. Oh, he did two in a real quick time. Now he's going to regroup and try for that big one. That's it. Now, the thing is, is if he did it fast, if he does it faster than Derek, oh, he's he will off win the, the contest. 8.88 8. seconds. Unbelievable time. So now, Derek has to beat that with the first two stones in order to win the contest. Wow. They're that close. And he's going to try for that third one also, but it looks like it's undoable, not available to be done. Here he goes. Watch this. He's got to get it under 8.88 seconds. Time is It's going to be close. It's going to be really close. Here we go. He's, he's got it up. Oh, is it going to be enough? 
Oh, wow. It's going to be enough. You can see Savickas. Savickas thinks he won. Oh, Savickas is the happy. Time. He thinks it was too slow. Oh, wait a minute. But no. if he can get the third one up, that changes the whole thing. No one's counting on this, but look at this. Oh, wow. What an effort. No one has lifted it yet. The look time won't matter if he can get this one up. He's almost got it. Look at this. Oh, this is history. History is here. being made here now, today. Look at this. Look at this. He did it. it. Unbelievable. I Unbelievable. Forget the time. He did three stones. We just witnessed history here, Steve, today. Look, even Zadrunas knows it. Oh, a smile man, look at that. of submission, a smile of defeat. But he knows he's witnessed history as well. Derek Poundstone's beside himself. Take a look here, Steve, what he does. Absolutely speechless. He pulls it to his thighs, and then with workmanlike effort, he pulls it up to the platform. This has not been done for 100 years. You had to lift the fifth stone to win, and you did. Oh, my God, the 517-pound Louis Sears stone. What's going on right now? Like I said, they don't call me pound stone for nothing. <laughs> Zadrunas, how, how do you feel? What's going through your mind? <laughs> this was fantastic. Unbelievable. And Derek Poundstone is fortissimus. He beats Savickas by one point. They're followed by Venta, Jean, Orkmeyer, Koglia, Felix, and Peterson. And Murubet, Savoy, Hogan, Katona, and Filiu round out the 13 places. Katona has broken ribs, and Murubet is also injured. History was made here today, Steve. J'ai l'honneur de proclamer Derek Poundstone the plus puissant de la planète. I'm proclaiming Derek Poundstone the mightiest man on the planet. Here is the Louis Sear trophy. He is the successor to Louis Sear. Derek Poundstone is Fortissimus, the mightiest man on earth. Wow, what a contest, Steve. Venta came in third, Zadrunas came in second, and Derek Poundstone came in first. Zadrunas also the recipient of the Jan Paul Sigmundsen Memorial Award. And what a treat for the fans here today. Wow. We're here in Notre Dame du Rosaire. Derek Poundstone standing on the Louis Sears Stone in victory. Fortissimus was a presentation of the municipality of Notre Dame du Rosaire. What a tremendous show. We are so honored to be a part of this. History was made today. Derek Poundstone crowned the mightiest man on earth, the Fortissimus. For Super Sad Dubé, I'm Steve Besner. See you next year at Fortissimus.